The Lord be with you. Hello. Now, so far in Epiphany, we've heard about how the coming of the wise men revealed that Jesus was for all people, and that their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh were a sign that he was a priest, a king, and also that he would die. We've heard in the story of Jesus' baptism about how he was the Son of God, but also it was revealed through him and his baptism that we are all beloved children of God. Well, today we learn from a story of Jesus calling the disciples, those who would follow him, and how he is revealed and who he is for is revealed in that story. Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Philip was from the town of Bethsaida, where Andrew and Peter lived. Philip found Nathanael and told him, Remember that Moses wrote in the law about a man who was coming, and the prophets also wrote about him. We have found him. He is Jesus, the son of Joseph. He is from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to Philip, Nazareth? Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip answered, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him. He said, Here is truly a person of Israel. There is nothing false in him. Nathanael asked, How do you know me? Jesus answered, I saw you when you were under the fig tree. That was before Philip told you about me. Then Nathanael said to Jesus, Teacher, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus said to Nathanael, You believe in me because I told you I saw you under the fig tree, but you will see greater things than that. And Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. You will all see heaven open. You will see angels of God going up and coming down on the Son of Man. When we first meet Nathaniel, he's actually quite rude about Jesus and about where Jesus is from. But God, God calls Nathaniel. Jesus calls Nathaniel anyways. Then at the end, Jesus refers to a vision which Jacob, who you may remember from the stories we heard of Joseph last year being sold into slavery. Jacob was his father and was also known as Israel. Jacob had a vision of a ladder with angels going up and down the ladder into heaven. Jesus is being revealed here as the ladder, the bridge between us and God. It is through Jesus' coming into the world that we are newly connected and restored in our relationship with God, and that we are able to ascend into heaven on Jesus' back, quite literally. I wonder if you've ever had a friendship break down, a disagreement with a friend. It sometimes feels like you've been torn apart by an argument or because somebody did something wrong. To repair a relationship, somebody might need to bring you and your friend together. It is like they are building a bridge between you. Our relationship with God can feel like it is broken because of the things we do wrong. Jesus comes into the world to be the bridge between us and God. That is why Jesus calls people who make mistakes, ordinary people like you and me, to follow him, because he wants to heal them and their relationship with God, and help them to do the same for others. So, as we take a moment to think about all those for whom we're concerned, all those who have been sick, and all those who we are separated from. And we pray thanks to God for the gift of vaccines, which are uh, vaccinating people and making people immune, or at least partially immune to this virus. We also pray to God uh, and thank him for who he calls to follow him. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you call each one of us to be one of your children. We thank you that you call ordinary people, that you work to restore our relationship with God. 
We pray for all those who are sick and we give thanks for medicine which will help to make them well. We pray for doctors and nurses, scientists and for all those working to organise vaccination clinics. Help them each in their work as they seek to help us overcome this virus. We pray for our teachers and our school staff and we pray for our fellow students, those alongside whom we learn. Heavenly Lord, in Jesus' name we pray for all these, that you would bring about your kingdom and your peace. Amen. We say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to recognise everyone as loved by God. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to have compassion, hope and trust. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to persevere, to respect one another, to grow in wisdom and to flourish. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints, to comprehend the breadth and length and height and depth of all things. I pray that you will know the love of Christ, which surpasses all knowledge. Amen. Well, I hope you've been staying safe and staying healthy and staying well and taking care of your households and doing the work that you need to do and finding a chance to exercise and rest as well. And I hope that God cares for you and that you find his blessings even at this difficult time. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with each of you and your families and your loved ones and your friends this day and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.